a person who is a leader can never ever be a waster another thing which is very disturbing amongst the youth these days which i keep reading in the papers again is suicide not just the percentage or the number of suicides but the reasons for suicide the most shocking case one of the most shocking case not the most shocking but one of the most shocking cases i read recently was a girl uh, was talking on a mobile she was talking to her mother and uh, she the results of i think cbsc central board of secondary education and she was asking and all that and uh, i think she was told that i don't remember she had not failed she did not fail but she did not get some good marks and suddenly the phone stopped ringing she committed suicide instantaneously within a split second she jumped off the fifth floor from where she was in that building i mean she didn't even think for 5 seconds what she is doing she just jumped off and committed suicide now i don't remember hearing such things in the time when i was uh, doing my graduation between the age of 17 and 20 in fact in my entire student life if i count from by the way i am not a 10 plus 2 i am a 10 plus 1 because when i did my higher secondary it was only uh, 10 plus 1 not 2 i did cbse central board of secondary education i can't think of more than two cases i heard of suicide in my entire student life of 6 years suicide 16 year 17 year 18 is suicide never heard of it yes one person i knew attempted suicide but he luckily survived only one person and he attempted suicide for reasons of the heart he had madly fallen in love with a young lady and that young lady did not reciprocate his uh, love and this gentleman whom i knew one day i got a call from his father saying he is in a critical condition admitted in a civil hospital in aligarh i was i think 19 or 20 years old and so was he this this was in ma previous so i was 20 years old and he was also 20 years old so i went and i met him anyway he he was saved by the doctors because he had taken a large overdose of sleeping pills so they washed his stomach they saved him but when he was in a position to talk and then nobody wanted to say it is attempted suicide because then he would have been arrested you see if you if you attempt suicide and you die it's all over your post mortem will be done and you will be consigned to the chandan ki chita or qabar but if you survive that suicide you will get 5 years jail sentence for attempting suicide under the indian penal code so uh, we suppressed that he committed suicide it was told पेट में बड़ा मरोड़ उठा पता नहीं क्या हुआ लूज मोशन हुए तो उसके ट्रीटमेंट हुआ एनी वे वेन यू हैड एडिकुटली रिकवर्ड आई आस्ट हिम भाई ये आपने ऐसा हरकत क्यों की ही सेट मोहब्बत इसी को तो कहते हैं <laughs> तो आई सेट मेरे भाई मोहब्बत तो इसको कहते होंगे लेकिन जब कहते अगर आप जिंदा रहते अगर आप मर जाते तो मैंने कहा क्या बात है क्या देवदास कई बार देख ली ही सर्वाइव एंड लेटर ऑन ही हैज बिकम अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल पर्सन इन लाइफ एंड ही इज अ वेरी गुड ह्यूमन बीइंग बट टुडे आई डू नॉट नो व्हाट इज द सोशल मेलू ए लीडर कैन नेवर अटेम्प्ट सुसाइड दैट्स द पॉइंट आई एम मेकिंग okay then let me share with you something which is very very important in leadership and that is called the pygmalion i don't think there is anybody in this room who has not heard of a very famous indian who incidentally is now the pride of our country he is a bharat ratna also i don't think there is anybody in this room who has not heard of mr sachin tendulkar everybody knows mr sachin tendulkar okay I don't think there's anybody here who has not heard of a great Indian also Bharat Ratna no more amongst us our former president Dr Kalam so everybody in this room 
let me tell you how dr kalam let peace be to his soul and mr sachin tendulkar retired cricketer are pygmalions how many people in this room have heard of the term pygmalion please raise your hands nobody it's like this pygmalion was a king of a small island called crete c r e t crete or crete i don't know the correct pronunciation in the mediterranean sea just off the course of greece probably same time 4000 years ago this is a legend he was a king but he was also an artist so he used to sculpt he was a sculptor and he used to he was an expert in marble and stones stone carvings one day pygmalion decided that he'll make the statue of the most beautiful woman he could imagine so he started working on his project and at the end of it he chiseled crafted carved a beautiful 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 statue he gave the name of galicia to that statue galicia then something unthinkable something impossible happened he fell in love with the statue so he started loving the statue he said bhai isko jeevan de de bhagwan so he started doing puja bandagi aradhana prayer worship same meaning and he was so intense so intense so intense so intense that finally bhagwan took pity on him and he gave life to that statue then the mythology story ends they married each other and lived happily ever after so this is called the pygmalion legend now what is the relationship with mr sachin tendulkar and late president the the relationship is this in 1930s some greek uh, sorry german not greek german management gurus did experiments on horses and rats chuhe rats ghode horses and they came out with certain conclusions these conclusions were picked up by i'm forgetting his name a typical english name some professor of management in harvard united states and he ha huh, now i remember the german name is mr hans and mr gretzlit or something like that the american's name i don't recall this american in harvard did research on the research of hans and that other professor which was on rats and horses by the way he did it on human beings he took those principles and he did it on human beings in the management context and then he came out with a theory and he called it the pygmalion effect the sum and substance of the pygmalion effect and this is taught even now it is taught and there's a book on this called the pygmalion manager again authored by mohit siddiqui the pygmalion manager the sum and substance of this is what professor let's say harvard since i don't recall his name what professor harvard did is this the the test done on rats was in a called the maze m a z e maze bhul bhulaiya that if the rats were put in a certain direction they just by habit after maybe hundreds of times of failures they used to find their way out of the ma- out of the maze so it will cause race rat maze and for the horses they found that by training 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 the horse used to follow human language and he used to give answers by nodding his head and you know taking out horse sounds he couldn't speak like human beings but he used to grunt or whatever it is then this professor harvard did this experiment with human beings and he found that certain human beings who have passion junoon 
पागलपन अंधापन बट बट नॉट ऑफ दैट टाइप कि ये जो मोहब्बत है नॉट दैट टाइप बट टू अचीव समथिंग इन लाइफ एंड देन ही कॉइंट दिस टर्म द पिगमेलियन मैनेजर डॉक्टर कलाम इज अ गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पिगमेलियन आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव रेड हिज बुक विंग्स ऑफ फायर ही हैज ऑथर्ड नंबर ऑफ बुक्स आई हैव नॉट रेड द फुल बुक ऑफ डॉक्टर कलाम बट आई हैड द प्रिवलेज ऑफ इंटरेक्टिंग विद हिम नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स If you read his book he has written i think about half a dozen books but if you read wings of fire and if you talk to people who knew dr kalam who worked with him in hyderabad he spent large part of his life in hyderabad in the drdo and as you know he developed missiles and therefore he is called the missile man of our country he never married he was a bachelor and he only knew his work and if you read his biography so many times he met failure but he never admitted or acknowledged that failure he would always say ye to ek step hai it's a step in the journey no it is not a failure i mean we are talking of him as a scientist it's not a failure it's an attempt i will do it again i'll do it again it is amazing with what tenacity he worked and there are many people in our country not so well known who are doing it even today so he is a pygmalion there have been so many cricketers and there will be so many cricketers in future and maybe at one point of time just like sunil gavaskar's record was broken by sachin tendulkar his record may be broken by somebody maybe alistair cook or maybe virat kohli or maybe not as the saying goes records are meant to be broken but there is something unique about sachin uh, his autobiography is also there you can read it and there are so many books on sachin other than his autobiography what i find unique about sachin and i followed the game of cricket very closely from my childhood that during his playing days sachin did nothing except eat cricket sleep cricket drink cricket practice cricket and play cricket and for 24 years he could play despite serious injuries there are only three cricketers in our country who have maintained comparable levels of fitness to sachin kapil dev and azharuddin these three cricketers were very very conscious of their physical fitness and if you look at the records you will find very rarely they missed a test or a match because of lack of fitness well, i find it difficult to name any fourth person so the relevance of pygmalion to leadership is very simple and you can link it up to the sequence i gave you frankel socrates myers briggs bhutan japan pygmalion if you have passion for your work failures don't matter in fact you know failures compel you impel you motivate you to go to the next attempt which may be a bigger failure then you will say okay like we say in the eastern part of our country kah diya to kah diya karke dikhayenge you know this is the spirit of pygmalion ek bar keh diya to keh diya karke dikhayenge if you look at some of our war heroes within our country people who have got the paramveer chakra you know there was there were they are no more they died in the battlefield but there were soldiers who had a bullet which went through their heart through and through they entered here and exited from the back but i forget the name of that great shaheed this was in the 1965 war and this was in chamjoria sector he was a lance naik i am forgetting his name he had a bullet through his heart and he walked 3 kilometers with a bullet through and through not embedded but through and through and he informed the post 
that the enemy is at this place and then he died and maybe he would have walked another 2 kilometers it would have been 5 but he would not have died that is the pygmalion very recently in siachen you remember that gentleman who got buried under 34 feet of snow and then he was rescued after 5 or 6 days from karnataka and then he died later in a hospital in bangalore undergoing treatment now if i am sure research must have been done and must be going on question is how can a human being sometimes somebody says hum to bahut nazuk mizaj hain hame to machhar bhi chaata maar de to hum behosh ho jate hain i am such a delicate person that if a mosquito kicks me i will collapse and here you have people like this so the person who gets knocked down by a mosquito kicking him is also a human being and the person who can survive under 34 feet or whatever it is 30 feet of snow in minus pata nahi kitne degrees 45 50 degrees celsius is also a human being Thou, uh, more than uh, 5 600 people have played cricket for india but i can only think of one sachin tendulkar nobody has played for 24 years in india and nobody has played 200 test matches from india or from the world for that matter and nobody has played more than 400 one day internationals uh, centuries and all that record may be broken but i think it will be very difficult for even alistair cook or virat kohli to play 200 test matches so friends let's discover the pygmalion within us this is the message i am conveying to you and to quote late president kalam ignite your passion fire your imagination and to quote mr beg leadership is a personal choice you can choose to be like the lady who sells the vegetables you know what is the very obvious choice for a person who does not want to sell vegetables whether he is a gentleman or a lady or anybody sit and beg stand at the traffic light and beg so when that lady did not beg at the red light she has made a personal choice she is a leader and talking of beggars somebody sent me a whatsapp some time back 10 richest beggars of india have you seen that anybody here 10 richest beggars so there is one gentleman i don't remember his name obviously i think he is in mumbai he is a big businessman he has crores and crores and crores worth of asset so he was asked when you are a crorepati why are you begging every day he goes now and begs for 3 hours wo pata nahi kaun sa area uska uski beat hai beggars have their beats wo apni beat pe ja ke he gave a very simple reply he said are bhai hum jo aaj hain wo kis liye hain bheek mangne ke wajah se ye to hamara devi devta hai ye to hamara param dharm hai bheek mangna ye bheek mangna chhod denge to karodpati kaise rahenge तो द क्वेश्चन है सेट भाई साहब जब आपके पास कुछ नहीं था उस टाइम आप भीख मांगते थे आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट टुडे यू आर अ करोड़पति भाई वाई डू यू गो एंड डू दिस सेल्फ डिमीनिंग थिंग ही सेट पूजा करना छोड़ दें क्या भगवान की अपनी ये हम भीख मांगना हमारा भगवान है हमारा धर्म है हमारा कर्तव्य है हम जो भी बने इसकी वजह से हम इसको छोड़ दें क्यों आज हमारे पास पैसा आ गया क्या माँ बाप को छोड़ देते हैं पैसा आ जाता है तो दिस इज द रिप्लाई नाउ थिंक अबाउट इट अनलेस यू रिफ्लेक्ट इनवर्डली सीरियसली यू विल फॉरगेट वॉट एवर आई हैव सेड और विल से इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स बट इफ इन दिस ग्रुप ऑफ वॉट एवर इट इज न्यूमरिकली हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फाइव यंग पर्सन बी द लेडीज और बी द जेंटलमैन रिमेंबर फाइव थिंग्स एट द एंड ऑफ वॉट आई हैव सेड reflect on one i think my coming year has been successful i would have achieved my objective of sharing my thoughts with you i will give you one personal example to which you can judge yourselves it's absolutely true there's no exaggeration in it let me tell you i was i will not name the 
post also where I was working at that time, but I was in a very senior post. And I will not name the post of the person with whom I had this conversation. I had a very efficient uh, subordinate. I used to admire him. He was fantastic in his work. I used to openly praise him and give his example. Okay, dekhiye inko. Let's say his name was X. X ko dekhiye. Aisa hona chahiye. Aap dekhiye, aap kaha hai? Koi target aap achieve nahi karte, kaam nahi karte apna. Look at X. After some days, some time, not some days, some weeks, some months, one of my private secretaries who was on the same wavelength as I was and very close to me, he had said, Sir, I, I want to tell you something very sensitive, very personal and uh, I'm, I know you will mind it. You are my, not boss, but very big boss, but I have to say it. So I said, don't say so many things. Bolia kya bolna He said, Sir, please stop praising Mr. X in public. You are getting a bad name. He said, what do you mean I am getting a bad name? Sir, he is very corrupt. I felt as if the ground beneath my feet had moved. I got shocked. He said, sir, people are saying, Khwaja sahab ko bhi kuch deta hoga, isi liye publicly uski tarif karte hain. Ki dekho, ex ki tarah bano, to Khwaja sahab corruption promote kar rahe hain. I was shattered. I said, bhai, ye kaise ho sakta hai, wo to itna sharif aadmi hai. Unha ka, sir, wo hai sharif. Wo hai competent. But wo honest nahi dishonest hai. Man ka chha, bula hi usko. So, I had a closed door session with him. Now let me tell you the operative part. The operative part is this. I told that gentleman, and you know, unfortunately or fortunately, I have this problem that I try to speak the truth always. There is a famous saying by Lao Tzu, the Chinese philosopher, beautiful words are not truthful. Like, uh, I won't say the beautiful words used in the beginning were all untruthful, partly truthful. But beautiful words are not truthful. Truthful words are not beautiful.